everybody. <laughs> I was trying to figure out if it was really recording or not. Because one place it said it was recording and then, and then the counter wasn't moving. So I wasn't sure. Anyway, hello. I have a box. Yay, a box. This box comes from Unicorn Crate. But it's not actually one of their subscription boxes. This is just extra goodies that I ordered. I do have two of their boxes coming. Um, I ordered the November box. And then I pre-ordered the March box. So I already know it's coming in the November box, sort of. And I know one item in the March box is supposed to be a deck of Unicorn Tarot cards, which sounded really cool. I used to have several decks of Tarot cards, and I have no idea where they are. Um, between several moves, they have been misplaced. Somewhere in the universe, they exist. And I think I may have figured out the book that's in it. But I won't actually find out until March, obviously. Um, anyway, this box, you see the little unicorns on the washi tape. There should be a roll of that in here. I remember ordering that. <coughs> That's tight fit. Okay, so I already cut the tape. Pretty purple paper. Matches my clothes. <laughs> oh boy, lots and lots of packing peanut thingies. Little these are the uh, biodegradable ones, I think. Anyway. Some of those. Didn't order that. <laughs> okay, so here's the washi tape. The little unicorns. I thought it was cute. And I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for yet. But, oh, how sweet. So thank you. With a little smiley face and uh, Naomi. I think the actual boxes have this unicorn print on them, like on the the front side. <laughs> this is Leia, the magic maker. Meow. <laughs> cool. I'm lo actually looking forward to getting my crates that I ordered. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, yeah. Stay. Angel, don't move. <laughs> this is a candle. This is Maleficent. And the scent is Violet, Lime, Blackberry, and Thunderstorms. I was very intrigued by that scent. I'm not real sure which scent is coming through, but it's a really nice deep purple color. There's kind of, I can kind of smell a berry-ish scent. I'm not sure that it's blackberry, but it's some sort of berry-ish scent. And I think I'm picking up a little bit of the lime, maybe. Does it say you made this? It just says instructions for burning. Huh. I don't know, it's, it smells nice. It's a little two ounce candle. And a nice little black tin. Uh-oh. Alright, there you go. Is this the last thing in here? Oh! They added a little sticker, how cute. Go somewhere else because you can't see this yet. <laughs> okay, so for Christmas, I ordered two of these. One for my son, because yeah, he's all into the pony stuff and unicorns and all that. I'm trying to. Get it so you can actually see the the thing. And I I got another one for my sister in law because she likes unicorns. So and here he comes again. I tell you, you see. Go somewhere else and he has to stick around and keep nosing. Well, that's what happened. 
He's really going to be nosy when the stuff I ordered today shows up. Yeah, I've been rotten. You buy random things on Amazon, eBay, with you, you need it, you buy it online. Um, no, no, and no. What the hell are you buying all of a sudden? Like, you going to like GameStop now? No. Pornhub. No. Damn it. <laughs> porn? Hey, you never know. I'm not into porn. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Be quiet. Hot Topic and Loot Vault. Ha ha! Wrong all the way around, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, anyway. So sometime next week I will probably be getting some more boxes. Um, since I still have four minutes, let me do a real quick... I read a book! <laughs> you always do that. This was an... I actually received this one as an ARC. But it's been out for a while now. Um, it's called If You Leave Me by Crystal Hannah Kim. It's set in Korea. Uh, kind of... Between the end of World War II and through the Korean War, that time period. And it follows um, a girl named Hemi. I think that's how you pronounce it. And she's kind of in a little bit of a love triangle between... Um, I can't remember his name the guy that she really really loves and his cousin that she ends up marrying and it's it's a really interesting story um if you're looking for happy fluffy it's not happy fluffy there's some mental illness going on um because hemi especially after she has her children has some postpartum depression and i think just general depression in addition to that um, I think it was triggered and maybe magnified by the postpartum part and um, I can identify with that and let's see does this say when it went on sale I am not seeing it real quick here so advanced reader's edition not for sale you're not going to tell me when you came out? You're not going to tell me when it came out. But it is out and about. You can get it. Isn't this the, like one of the most beautiful covers you've ever seen? They're painted flowers, but they look very real. When you look at the cover, they look very, very real. And they're vibrant. And all these gorgeous shades of purple. So it kind of matches my outfit. Hmm. Um, but I really enjoyed this story. I think I gave it like three and a half or four stars something like that but uh, it is certainly not a happy fluffy story um, oh Kyung Wan is the one she's in love with and Jisoo is the one she married and they're cousins I wish I could tell you it had a happy ending <laughs> but it's not that kind of a book Anyway, I don't want to give you spoilers and things because it's worth reading. It really is is worth reading. Um, I won this one off of Goodreads. I wasn't and it had, didn't have any clue. wasn't expecting anything really. And I saw the cover when it showed up, and I was like, I fell in love instantly. So I don't think I'm getting rid of this one. I think I'm going to hold on to this one for a while. Um, it is available in audiobook as well. I did listen to it through audio while I read the book w along with it. Um, yeah. So, definitely, definitely take a read if you're interested in family dynamics, depression, love triangles, extramarital affairs, <laughs> um, Korean culture. There's a lot about that definitely worth reading. And my time is up, so I will see you.